Hey everyone, so today I have a beginner friendly HIIT workout for you that'll take you 20 minutes to complete. Now with all the workouts I post to this channel, I try to show you how to tone it down so that really any of them could be suitable for beginners. That being said, I know it's nice to have some workouts that are made specifically with beginners in mind, so that's what I got for you today. As for equipment, you're going to want a set of dumbbells. Now pick a weight that is medium to you. If you're just starting out, that could be five pounds, maybe up to eight pounds, maybe even 10 pounds. I'm going to use two eight pound dumbbells today. Now for one of the exercises, you might be able to go a little higher than that because we're only gonna be using a single weight. It's gonna be for standing side bends and bicep curls. So if you do have equipment to choose from, I would maybe do a set of light to medium weights and then one slightly heavier dumbbell. With the exception of that side bend to bicep curl exercise, all the moves could also be done just body weight. So if you're a true beginner or you don't have equipment on hand, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to do that as well. Now, aside from a weight, I am using a bench and I recommend you use one as well. Now, if you're at a gym, get a bench or a step bench, that'd be perfect. I'm actually using my coffee table because I am not at a gym. So if you have a sturdy coffee table, works just fine as well. We're gonna use that um, to help us with squats so that we can sit on something. So a chair is something else you could use for that. And we'll use them again with, to do an incline push-up um, to just bring our hands up a little higher so that the push-up is a little more manageable. HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. Now, because this is a beginner-focused workout, it's more like medium to high intensity interval training today, but I'm gonna give you options to ramp all the exercises up, as well as show you how to tone all of them down. I'm gonna give you five exercises. We're gonna go through them four times using an interval structure of 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand. I have two warmups on my channel. Um, one is lower impact and a little gentler, so I would recommend doing that one and I will link to it below. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever music you like or TV shows. So you might wanna get that queued up before we get going. And with all that said, I'm gonna now give you a preview of the exercises. I'll show you how to tone them down and then we will get to it.
Okay, so the first exercise is going to be that squat thrust. So if you are choosing to use weights, we are going to grab both of these. Um, and if it gets to be too much using both, just drop down to one, okay? So we're going to rack those weights at our shoulder. Shoulders, plural, we have two of those. <laughs> 40 seconds on the clock. So we're going to sit down, drive up, thrust those weights overhead. So as we lower down into these, butt and hips slide down and back, weight goes into our heels. Our torso hinges forward, but we're not hunching, okay? So I want you to think of keeping the chest open. And at the top of the squat, you are thrusting your hips forward, squeezing your bum, but I don't want you to hyperextend into the low back when you do that. So also pull the abs in tight. So picture you're coming to a plank position, standing up. And 20 seconds to rest. Okay, for the next exercise, we're gonna do the lunge with the torso twist. So we're gonna drop down to just one weight. Um, you might find you need to use a lighter weight for this one, or you might opt to go body weight. We're gonna start with a back lunge the first round, okay? So start with the weight at your chest. One foot steps back as it does reach the weight forward. You always twist over the leg that is in front, okay? Come back through center, stand up, repeat other leg. So the back lunge just means that we are stepping back into this. Now in this torso twist, you're not just bringing your arms around, okay? The twist is starting from your midsection. So I want your core to follow the weight. Your whole upper half twists as one unit. With your lower half, you wanna make sure the knee is stacked over the heel and weight is in that heel and 20 seconds to rest. Okay, we're gonna come into incline burpees. We're gonna use the bench on this one, so we'll bring our hands to it. You can add in the push-up. If the push-up is too much, just take it out. <sighs> 40 seconds. Now I'm jumping my feet back and forward. If that's too much, you can always step your feet back instead and step them forward. So always ways to make this low impact. I'm losing my mic pack. Let's see if it'll stay on till the end. Just made it. Okay, next up, we are gonna grab the weight again. We're gonna isolate one side. So I want you to mirror me, do your right hand first. Around that weight, it's gonna be one standing side bend, two bicep curls. We'll alternate which side each time. Soft bend in your knees. You're gonna dip down to the side, complete the crunch by coming all the way up, bring that elbow towards your hip, upright, and then two bicep curls. Now this is one that you might be able to use a heavier weight for. So if you don't feel challenged, up that weight for me. So obliques and biceps working on this one. Down to the side, contract, crunch it up, curl, curl. And we want to soft bend to our knees, Oop, 20 seconds rest. I'll talk about the knees next round. Okay, so last exercise is just gonna be jumping jacks. We'll get the heart rate up to finish this first round of the circuit. Let's go. Now, if you are looking for a low impact option, you are just going to step, step, tapping one foot at a time. You can go both arms together. If your arms get tired, you can do one side at a time like this. So lots of options. But if you wanna get that jump in, let's go. And rest. 
Okay, first time through the circuit is complete. We're gonna start back at the top with that squat. Now, the first round, if you were doing this squat and you were like, girl, I could do that all day, forget about using your bench, okay? Instead, you would just give me a regular squat thrust without sitting down onto it, okay? That would be the advanced version. Let's go. Sit it down, stand it up, shoulder press at the top. Hips come forward, squeeze your bum, but don't arch into your low back, okay? Abs are engaged, so knit your ribs together. Weight is in your heels as you lower. Chest is staying open, spine is staying long. So picture your shoulder blades are kind of gently sliding together and down your spine. And rest. Okay, so we'll ditch one weight. We're gonna go to that lunge with the torso twist. This time we're gonna do a front lunge. So instead of stepping back into the lunge, we will step forward into it. Same deal though, we'll alternate legs. All right, let's go. Weight comes forward, twist. Remember, you always twist to the side of whatever leg is in front. And then push off of it to come back to stand, front lunge. Now, holding the weight out extended like this, is definitely a challenge for the shoulders. So like I mentioned in the first round, you might feel that you need to use a lighter weight for this one than you just did for the squats. Drop down if needed, or you can always do body weight. And rest. Okay, no weights needed. We are gonna go into those burpees. I think I got my mic pack on good this time, so hopefully we won't have any issues there. Remember, lots of ways to tweak this one. Push up, no push up. Jump, no jump. Let's go. Now, if you want a way to make these harder, add in a jump at the top instead of a clap. When you do that push-up, let's make sure we're keeping good alignment through our core. So yes, it's an arm exercise, but knit your ribs together, nice long straight spine as you press down and lift up. And rest, okay. So now we're gonna switch sides with that standing side bend to the two bicep curls. So mirror me, the weight is in your left hand now. Feet about hips width apart, soft bend to your knees. So like I started on the first time, we want that soft bend, because if we lock out the knees, we tend to tilt the pelvic bone forward and arch into the low back. We don't want that. Neutral pelvic bone is the name of the game. So soft bend to the knees, core and tight. So remember, with this side bend, I don't just want you going to the side and coming up into the curl. I want you to finish the contraction, okay? So you dip down, then bring that elbow in towards your hip, finish the crunch, then come back to center for those two bicep curls. If these feel easy, if you could do these all day, I want you to grab a heavier weight. And rest, okay. Jumping jacks coming up. And remember, if you're looking for low impact version of this, it's a side tap, either one arm at a time or both arms together, okay? Don't feel like you need to jump the 40 seconds. Let's go. So adding this in to get that heart rate up, give us a little bit of a cardio blast amongst the more strength focused exercises. Although, of course, with those other moves, your heart rate does get up as well. After this, you will be halfway done with the workout. And 
and rest. Okay, we are halfway through the circuit. We're gonna start it again from the top. So grab those weights. We'll go to those squats. Now, if you got through the first half pretty easily, maybe you take those more advanced options I gave you. Maybe you don't use the bench for the squats or maybe you go up in weights. All right, so we're gonna make our way. We sit it down, drive it up weights overhead. And I know that the uh, screen is cutting me off, but when I'm at the top, I'm assuming you guys know what I'm doing, but I'm just doing that, okay? <laughs> Remember, at the top, you're squeezing your glutes, hips come forward, abs in tight. And rest. Okay, we will ditch one weight. So we're gonna go to that lunge with the torso twist. We'll go back to the back lunge. So from where you're standing, to get into the lunge, you step back into it. Foot steps back, weight goes forward at chest height, twist over the leg in front, come back through center, stand it up. The twist happens from your belly button up, okay? So it's not just your arms twisting around, your whole upper half twist. So sometimes it's helpful to actually stare at the weight and your eyes follow it, it'll help your whole upper half twist as one unit. If that throws off your balance though, just look ahead. <laughs> do what you gotta do. And rest. Okay, we are gonna come into those burpees. Tweak them as you need. If you want to challenge, you can ditch the bench too and you can bring your hands all the way down to the floor, okay? Scale up or down as needed. As long as you are doing the most challenging ver version you personally can do, I'm happy. Now, I know we all love to hate burpees, but it is such a functional movement. I mean, just the act of getting down to the floor and back up, something that really is beneficial in everyday life. No, you're not doing burpees in your living room for no reason, but those functional movements, like squats, sitting, standing, burpees, floor and back up, Incorporating these kind of functional movements into our workout, you're gonna see a benefit in everyday life. So, that's why we're doing all these movements. Okay, grab your weight. I'll stop rambling. <laughs> weight is in your right hand. We're gonna go into that standing side bend. Soft bend to the knees, abs in tight, let's go. So we reach that weight down, crunch up, come back through neutral, two bicep curls. And if you have tight shoulders and holding your non-working hand like this is uncomfortable or you find yourself pulling on your neck, you can totally bring your arm down. It doesn't matter. You can put your hand on your hip, whatever works for you. And rest. Okay, jumping jacks coming up. But again, if you're looking for a low impact workout, instead of jumping, you're doing those side steps. You're doing them quick though, okay? The goal is to get the heart rate up whether you're jumping or not. Let's go. Now, if you're adding in the jump, something I want you to think about while you do these is engaging your butt. If we don't engage through our glutes, what tends to happen is the legs kind of want to cave inward. So when you're out in the jump, your knees shouldn't be pointing in. They should always be tracking in line with your toes. So I want you to think of squeezing your bum and almost spiraling your thighs outward a little bit, okay? Active glutes here. Yeah. 
and rest. Okay, just one more time through the circuit. We will start at the top with those squats. Rack the weights on your shoulders. And if you want to drop down to one for this, just hold the weight at center and you can still do the thrust at the top. It would look like this. Same thing, just a little lighter. We got this. Last time you're going to see this exercise. And rest. Okay. Lunge with that torso twist. This time it's going to be a front lunge, okay? So start back a little bit. We step into the lunge and then push off that front leg to come back up. So the reason we're adding in a torso twist, it's going to work core stability and just stability in general, okay? Anytime we can add in that element of balance and that little balance challenge, we are working our body whew, in different planes of motion at once, which is always a good thing. Add a little challenge. So I want you to notice as you do the twist, is your knee caving inward. Don't let it, okay? Your knee should be tracking over your middle toes the whole time. So similar form cue that I gave in those jumping jacks, you might need to think of kind of spiraling the thigh open and squeezing your glutes to help keep that knee track forward as you do the twist. Oop, and rest. Benefit of talking a lot, I don't do a lot of reps. It's a little easier for me. Okay, we got those burpees coming up. Last time you're going to see these, so if you've taken out the push-up, add it back in this round if you can, okay? If you've taken out the jump, maybe add that back in. So let's go. Keep your neck long as you do these. So I don't want you to tuck your chin to your chest. I also don't want you to crane your neck during the push-up, okay? So you're kind of looking a few inches in front of your fingers. Ooh, rest, okay. We're gonna grab that weight. I almost forgot what was next. Weight is gonna be in your left hand this time. Standing side bend to the two bicep curls. Feet about hips width apart, soft bend to the knees. Upright posture, knit those ribs together. Second to last work interval, you got this. Reach down, crunch it up, two curls. So in this workout, we have worked forward and backwards, up and down, side to side, some twists, so truly a total body workout here. Legs, core, and upper body. And rest, okay. Final 40 second interval coming up, it's those jumping jacks. If you're taking out the jump uh, for joint health reasons or you're working with an injury, keep doing that. Um, if you're taking it out because it's just a little too hard, maybe you try to add it back in this round, okay? Final push. If you can't add the jump, I want you to, even if it's just for like 10 or 15 seconds. And remember, our glutes are engaged as we do this so that our knees aren't knocking inward. Let's go, final push. If you've started to slow down, I need you to dig deep. Pick up the pace a little bit, okay? I will too. Right to the end, let's do it. Everything you got.
and done. That is your workout. Awesome work today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you're looking for more beginner-focused workouts, I've linked to them below in the description. I do have a few others on my channel, and if you want more, just let me know in the comments, and I will make more. I'll see you guys next week.